Hello everyone. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to perform protocol conversion within your EasyBuilder Pro project. During this demonstration, I'll be using a CMT3072XH, but this method will work with any WinTech product. I'll also be using a Micrologix 1100B and a Modbus RTU slave. To begin, let's open EasyBuilder Pro, and I'll start a new project by selecting New, and then selecting the CMT3072XH from my list. Within the system parameters, I'll add our Rockwell Ethernet IP DF1 driver, and the IP address in this example is 192.168.0.101. I'll also add our Modbus RTU, RTU over TCP driver. We'll be using an RS-232 interface during this demonstration. And so within our COM settings, I'll change the COM port to 1, and then select RS-232. Now I'll click OK and close my device settings, as well as my system parameters. And next, we'll add some objects that correspond to our device registers. Looking at our PLC demo, you'll notice that we're using bit 15 from the B3 data file to trigger our add block, which will add the data within N70 and N71 and output the result into N72. I'll create these objects and place them on my display. With the objects on our display, I'll go ahead and create a bit object tied to my Modbus device. I'll use the 0x1 register during this example. I'll also create three numeric objects that will display data within our 4x1, 4x2, and 4x3 registers. Before I demonstrate the Rockwell Ethernet IP to Modbus serial protocol conversion, I'd like to note that although it isn't necessary to add each object used in our conversion to our work area, I've done this so that we can visualize our conversion during this demonstration. Now let's select the Object tab, and on the top right I'll select the Data Transfer drop-down list, although both the per page and global object will both perform conversion. I'll select the global object during this demonstration. In the following pop-up, I'll select New under the Time-Based tab. I'll leave my address mode to bit, and we'll transfer one bit on a 0.2 second interval. I'll configure the source address to B3015, and the destination will be the 0x1 register within our Modbus device. And it's important to note that the destination address may only support a specific bit address dependent on the external device. If you find that the bit address that you would like to use is unaccessible, you will need to use a macro for conversion. We'll cover this in the second half of this tutorial. And then I'll click OK and close our object. Next, I'll create one more global transfer. Our address mode will be Word, and the number of words will be 3. 
I'll also execute this on a 0.2 second interval. We'll set the source address to N70 and our destination to 4x1. And then click OK to save our settings, and then download this project to our HMI for testing. Using WebView, we can view my HMI's display. Already, we can see that the data from our MicroLogix is being transferred to our Modbus slave. Let's go ahead and update our values during runtime. And we can see our data transfer in effect and our protocol conversion is successful. Now let's demonstrate protocol conversion using our macro workspace. To begin, I'm going to delete our global data transfers. Next, I'll select the Project tab and open our Macro Manager by selecting Macro. We'll create a new macro, and I'll name my macro Transfer, and enable Periodical Execution. Just under Macro Command Main, I'll declare a bool variable by typing bool, and then a name for my variable. I'll also declare a short integer array by typing short, and then a variable name, and in brackets, I'll type 3 because we're transferring 3 members. On the bottom left, I'll select the get slash set button, and in the function name drop down list, we'll select get data. We'll read the data for our bool variable from word 0, bit 15, within our B3 data file. And once finished, we'll click OK. Next, we'll open our API by selecting the get slash set button once more. And again, we'll choose get data. This time, we'll select our short integer array and retrieve our data from N70 and specify a length of three members. Now, we'll select our API and define a set data. And we'll set our data into the Modbus device I'll make sure that the length within the set data for our short array is also configured to 3. And then I'll select Save and Compile and download this to my HMI for testing. Once again, I'll update the values within my program and we'll see that our data transfers to the Modbus device. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.